Hello, I'm Pastor Horace Dowdy, and I'm bringing you a series of sermons of faith and comfort during this troubling time in our culture. If you enjoy these presentations, I encourage you to go to Horace Dowdy YouTube, hit the like button, and then when you're ready to subscribe, go to the bell and make sure you're getting notifications. And that will help me continue this ministry. The lesson for today is God and the Rainbow. The story in the Bible of a great flood begins with a terrible statement, but fortunately ends with the most comforting promise in the Bible. Listen to both of them. Quote, when God saw the extent of human wickedness, he regretted that he had made mankind. So he destroyed all the people except the family of Noah. But finally, after the unimaginable catastrophe, the rainbow appeared and God's great affirmation came, never again will I destroy the earth. You can count on springtime and harvest, summer and winter, day and night, as long as time exists. All over the world, people today are starving for an encouraging word. A frightening epidemic has forced us to change our way of living. We don unnatural protective gear. Love and affection must no longer be transmitted by touching and embracing. Even the scientists cannot agree on what the future holds. Nothing seems certain. It can be a bleak time. We need the encouraging word. And here it is. In the first book of the Bible, the great creator, almighty God, guarantees with great authority that one thing is sure. Seasons will roll in and roll out dependably for all time. Even if you are an atheist with no regard for religion, these words are comforting. And if you're blessed with faith, that promise can save your life. Some of you realize how resilient the natural world remains. Here in this lush valley of Virginia, winter, springtime, summer and fall produce blossoms and abundance, seed time and harvest that continue to produce filling the storehouses, assuring us with plenty. And if you pay attention to that one blessing, it will surely lift your heart Notice how good whenever you say aloud, thank you, God. You may think that the current epidemic is about as bad as the world can get, but Noah faced something far worse. The extinction of almost all life on planet Earth. But Noah's God provided a safety net. When the raging waters covered the Earth, that family with a teeming shipload of animals, rode out the storm, and it is comforting to remember Noah's God is your God. That is comforting. This is your Father's world, and He can manage the dangers. Almighty God is able to give you strength to deal with challenges. He holds your hand even in the shadow of death. He has the power to calm the storm and heal the land. History proves he has done it many times. Noah's faith kept him and his family alive. And when the huge boat lumbered aground finally, the creatures all tumbled out to stretch their rusty limbs. What did Noah do? He built an altar and knelt in the mud to worship and to thank God. Whenever you hear somebody ridicule faith, read that story. Religious faith brought survival. Nothing's more vital than survival. Many in our culture seem strangely unaware of the ever available supply of the power of God. How many altars have you built? You are encouraged to take all kinds of precautions, but don't overlook that one vital resource from another dimension, the kingdom of God. Perhaps you cannot see the invisible force. No bother. God does not rely on your senses. He made you. 
He made the world. He's still in charge. He's able to be your refuge and your strength. Let the oceans roar. Let the mountains crumble. Let the people rage. But he utters his voice, and the problems melt away. Your ancestors, ancestors called on such faith, and they built a nation. Where I stand, right here in Lexington, Virginia, was an uncharted wilderness. And with their own hands, our ancestors turned it into a land of milk and honey. You inherited their genetics. You can do it again. They listen to God's strong promise, and so can you. Here it is again. While the earth remains, seed time, harvest, summer, winter, day and night, you can count on with firm trust. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, listen to our needs. We pray your protection upon the, the little infants in our care. Help them grow in wisdom and stature. Give your steady hand to the adolescent that they may be able to seek and find what is important. Bless the parents who need your patience and your good humor. Be with the ones who are old, who have found how brief life is and are beginning to think of death as a friend. Lord, touch the spirit that is depressed. We ask that you can help us, Lord. Begin now while we pray. Amen.